Hey everyone, Mr. Nordman here. Our 16th lesson is titled Advanced Styles. In this lesson, you will learn how to use Photoshop's preset styles. And here is our list of one term. It's the styles palette. So let's get started. Okay, so open Photoshop if it's not already open, and then choose File New from the menu bar or use that keyboard shortcut Command N. And for the width and height, go ahead and put 5 inches and 5 inches, and then 300 for the resolution. Next step, you're going to choose the Type tool, that's the letter T. You can just press the letter T. And then click on your canvas and type in a word or two. If it goes off of the canvas there, remember you can just click not right here in the text, but go down below it and you can move it into place. And then you could also highlight your text and change the font if you want. I'll just leave it there for now for sake of time, but you could choose any font you want. And then go ahead and click the check mark or you could just choose the move tool also to apply that text. In the next step on the menu bar up top, choose window styles. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and save this. It's a good habit to save things early on before you get too far into the assignment. So I will save this. Let's go to my, um, where are we going? We're gonna go to my documents here. Oh yeah, here we go. There's, actually no, I wanna to go to documents and then my video lessons and we're down to number 16 so let me highlight this and call this last name VL16 okay so now on the menu bar go up to window and go down to styles my styles are already open so I'll just leave that there what you will see is a little styles palette that will pop up and I'm gonna go ahead and reset mine for now and then show you how to load them. It comes with a few preloaded ones and I'll show you how to load some new ones too. Okay, so in the styles palette, if you click on the three little lines right here, you can go down to text effects and then in the pop-up menu, make sure you click append. That'll add to your already preset list here and you'll see that you've got some new ones that are added in there. Go ahead and test out some of these text effects and then uh, see what you think of them. So there are different effects here. I think these are mainly down at the bottom. There we go. And there's some other ones here and some other ones. And personally, I don't like too many of these except for maybe, uh, which one would I probably use? Maybe the clear double black stroke. That one was kind of cool. Let me see if I could find that. Uh, where is it? Oh, I think I passed it. Let's start at the bottom here. Clear double, there it is. That one's kind of cool. Might use that for something. Okay, so now in the layers palette, you can click on the small eyeball icon to hide your text layer. And then click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. Now let's go back to the styles palette and click on the three little lines and go down to buttons. Might be helpful for some uh, web design if you ever do that, but I'll show you what they look like. So click append here. And this will add some of the buttons in there. So we're going to check some of these out. So go ahead and try the red spatters style. Let's see where that one is. There it is. And I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice that nothing happens on your, on your canvas here. But if you look in the layers palette, it added some layer effects to your layer. So now all we need to do is add something to our canvas. So if you click on the brush tool, and then choose uh, whatever brush that you want. It doesn't really matter. And then just pick a size. Uh, doesn't matter here too much either. You could experiment. And then just uh, click and drag on your canvas and you'll see that it adds those styles to your paintbrush. And it doesn't really matter what color you're brushing with because it'll add those effects to it. Okay, so now go ahead and save this again and then open up a new file if you can't find this new file on your hard drive, uh, it is on the um, it is in the video description too. So let me go to my video lesson images and then find the Jurassic Park JPEG. Once again, you could download that too. 
And then I always get in the habit of choosing Image Duplicate and then OK and closing the original just in case I need that for something else and I end up saving over it. OK, now in this document, uh, this was pretty cool. We went on vacation to Hawaii and we actually found the location where they filmed the entrance scene to Jurassic Park. You could see the uh, posts there. There was a sign that said Jurassic Park. And if you look closely off in the distance, you could see a T-Rex. Super cool. Okay, now in the layers palette, you're going to duplicate this background layer. You could either drag it to the new layer icon, or you could press that shortcut Command J, which also does the same thing. Okay, in the styles palette again, you're going to load the photographic effects. So I'm going to click on these three little lines again. Go down to photographic effects. Since uh, many of you are photographers, let's see what we have here. And then click append. And then we could scroll down and see some of these uh, photographic effects. So there's a sepia tone, there's a blue duo tone, and then there are a few other ones that are kind of interesting that might work well with your images. And you could play around with those. And for now, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the orange gradient with shadow. That one looked pretty cool to me. Gives it a good Jurassic Park effect. And then for a final step, Go ahead and experiment a little more by adding some text. And you could type something in. And again, you don't have to use this uh, image. You could use anything you want. But I'll just go ahead and type in Jurassic Park here. And then uh, let's go ahead and move that into place with the Move tool. I could. That's what I like about this version of Photoshop. It gives me that pink line there to show me where the center point is. So for the final step, uh, you could uh, go through some of these other layer styles. And the one that I liked was the double yellow stroke from Text Effects 2. So let me go ahead and load that. You could try any of the other ones too if you want to experiment. But I'll do Text Effects 2. Click Append. And then find that double yellow strokes. Let's see where that is. I think it's near the bottom. There it is, double yellow strokes and then it adds that effect. The one I did uh, previous to this uh, had a little bit different. I found a font that looks similar to Jurassic Park and made the text red and that looks kind of cool. So for this one that you've just finished now, go ahead and save it and you will go to your um, video lessons and then name this last name. Oops, I'm still in caps lock. Last name and then VL16 and the letter B. So that's it. Once you've saved, you are all finished. Great job. All right, good job. You learned how to load Photoshop's preset styles to the styles palette. And as you can see, many of them are not very useful as a photographer, but some of them are. You can also download free styles from the internet. I'm Mr. Norgren, and I encourage you to always be present, professional, and polite with all your future business encounters. Thanks, and have a great day.